everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is my review of the Elgato Turbo.264 HD video encoder for the Mac platform. Now inside the box, it's a very simple affair and you get the little USB dongle itself. This uh, plugs into your Mac, be it a MacBook or an iMac perhaps and it takes some of the video processing off of the main CPU and onto this dongle and it's meant to enhance the processing speed of uh, producing videos. You also get a little USB extension cable so perhaps if you're using an iMac it enables you to at least have easy access to one of the USB ports that's normally located on the back of the computer and you get the software itself. Now I'm going to install all of this and then show you the on-screen functionality of the Elgato Turbo.264 HD. Okay, so I've got the Elgato Turbo.264 HD dongle plugged into a spare USB port on my iMac now. And I've installed the software. You're presented with this very clean user interface and it really is a joy to use. To add a video to the queue, you can either click this plus icon here or you can simply drag your video files onto the main window. Once they're in this uh, queue, you can get information about the current video resolution and frames per second, the current audio settings, which are very useful to know. I'm going to quickly show you the preferences as well, which if I just go up here, these are the very simple preferences. You can choose where you want your encoded video saved to, you can get the software to automatically check for updates, clear the item list after encoding, which is important, and also you can get it to keep incomplete files. So if you click stop and then continue the encoding later on, it picks up where it left off. Now setting the resolution for your videos is very simple indeed. You can choose one of the current presets, for example HD 720p, or even perhaps one of the YouTube presets, which then allows you to enter an account, category, title description and tags, and even make the movie private so it's only shared with friends and family. And then when the video is finished processing, it's automatically uploaded to this YouTube account. You can also edit the settings as well. And I've started changing some settings here. I've changed the audio data rate and the sample rate and then I can even go into upload and specify an upload account as well. This can use the predefined media solo account or you can define an FTP account and again this is very useful because once the video file is finished encoding it will be uploaded via FTP. If you make a change to one of the settings it then appears in the menu list for the presets so this test setting that I've set up is now available to select. Once you've finished doing all of your settings, you simply click the start button and it tells you the current speed, current hours or minutes remaining for the file to process. And then once this has completed, it will automatically, in this case, upload to my YouTube account. The good points of the Elgato Turbo 264 HD it offers very fast video encoding, it even speeds up the likes of iMovie, QuickTime Pro, Final Cut Pro and Elgato's own ITV software as well. There are lots of formats and presets to choose for ease of use out of the box and it's a very intuitive interface and it's very very easy to use as well, it saves a lot of time. The only downside I could think of is that it would be nice to be able to use the YouTube uploader without having to re-encode your video files every time. That would be a very nice addition. Elgato Turbo.264 HD is currently available online at around the £130 mark. It seems expensive but ultimately does a very good job and if you're really into your video and you use a lot of QuickTime Pro or iMovie or perhaps you own an iTV as well this will certainly save you a lot of processing time. Well thanks very much for listening this has been Dave from geekanoids.co.uk This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.